Flight Force conclusion triggers intense analysis of encountered issues, with attention also drawn to SpaceX's plans for Flight 5. Elon Musk previously outlined the intention to use the Mechazilla arm to catch the booster, reaffirming this goal post-Flight 4. With booster's strong performance, rocket catching seems within reach. Join us on Great SpaceX as we explore Musk's confidence and the remaining steps toward this milestone. Three months ago marked the pivotal moment when Booster commenced its landing process, igniting a surge of anticipation as it approached within one kilometer of the sea surface. However, this excitement was abruptly cut short as the Booster failed to reach its final destination. This setback intensified the spotlight on B-11. Despite encountering a hiccup with a failed engine at the outset, B-11 embarked on a remarkable journey. At T plus 7 minutes and 9 seconds, the engines roared to life, working in tandem with the grid fin to guide the booster to a controlled descent. The sight of sparks igniting and white smoke billowing signaled B-11's successful touchdown on the water's surface, effectively concluding the unfinished tale of its predecessor, B-10. This triumph has undeniably injected a profound sense of morale into SpaceX and its visionary leader, Elon Musk. Musk wasted no time in expressing his optimism, swiftly tweeting, I think we should try to catch the booster with the Megazilla arms next flight. But what underpins Elon Musk's steadfast confidence? Let's delve into the reasons behind it. Examining Starship's current capabilities, it becomes evident that Elon's assertion is rooted in solid ground. The flawless execution of B-11's landing stands as a testament to this fact. The seamless operation of its engines played a pivotal role in crafting that awe-inspiring landing moment. The engine maneuvers unfolded with remarkable precision. Initially, the engines were shut down to facilitate the separation process between the two stages. Following separation, they were reignited to orchestrate the landing sequence. Subsequently, they were once again deactivated to facilitate the hot staging phase from the booster. As the spacecraft approached the sea surface, the engines sprang to life once more, guiding the booster towards a successful touchdown, as I previously mentioned. The continuous cycle of engine activation and deactivation poses a potential risk for operational glitches. However, SpaceX has demonstrated remarkable mastery in executing these maneuvers with utmost precision and stability. This proficiency is a result of the invaluable experiences gained from the previous flights, particularly Flight 3. It's evident that SpaceX's relentless pursuit of excellence has paved the way for such success. Looking ahead, I am confident that SpaceX will continue to soar to new heights with Starship. Whether it's executing sea landings or employing the Mechazilla arm in future missions, SpaceX's proven track record ensures a promising trajectory of achievements. During the aforementioned flight, B-11 utilized a virtual tower for landing, a novel approach not previously employed by Booster. This necessitated the pinpoint accuracy in landing location, marking a significant advancement. While SpaceX has remained relatively tight-lipped about this development, their confirmation of Super Heavy's splashdown in the Gulf of Mexico indicates a successful mission outcome, setting the stage for the next challenge, the Mechazilla arm. Furthermore, SpaceX achieved commendable success with the introduction of the hot staging jettison step during its inaugural application. This strategic maneuver aimed at reducing booster mass to enhance landing reliability proved to be highly effective. SpaceX demonstrated this efficacy through a captivating camera angle, showcasing the seamless separation of the hot staging from the booster. Subsequent procedures unfolded smoothly, further validating the efficiency of hot staging jettisoning. While some theories posit that this step may serve as a temporary measure slated solely for Flight 4, indications suggest otherwise. In upcoming flights, the hot staging ring may undergo a redesign, characterized by reduced mass, simplified construction, and larger vents to optimize heat and pressure dissipation. Elon Musk's presentation hints at a design reminiscent of the hot staging mechanism employed in the N1 rocket. Although initially slated for implementation in version 2, it's plausible to anticipate its application in version 1 for testing purposes, thereby expediting V2's transition to official operation. The belief in the capability to land the booster with the Mechazilla arm on the upcoming Flight 5 serves as Elon Musk's foundation. Do you share in the optimism for Elon Musk's goals? Please reply with yes or no in the comment section, and don't forget to show your support for SpaceX by liking the video, sharing it, and subscribing to the channel. The pressing question now is, when will Flight 5 occur? Based on the previous time frame, we anticipate Flight 5 to occur in approximately two months, likely around the beginning or middle of August. 
This timeline appears entirely feasible, considering the lack of impact on the environment or systems at Starbase as indicated by the flight overview. This should significantly expedite the mishap investigation process, paving the way for the next flight sooner than later. Let's not overlook the fact that previously, the FAA granted SpaceX permission to proceed with the flight without waiting for the completion of the mishap investigation from the previous flight. Instead, SpaceX only needed to ensure adherence to public safety requirements. In the Flight 4 launch license, the FAA explicitly stated that they would not mandate a mishap investigation in numerous scenarios, such as issues with the heat shield during re-entry, problems with the flap's navigation capabilities, and challenges encountered during Raptor landing. With this streamlined process in place, I anticipate swift progress. Turning to the flight hardware, the S-30 recently completed static fire testing just last month. Furthermore, B-12 is already stationed at the production site. I believe that after Flight 4, when the launch pad becomes available, it will be the opportune moment for B-12 to undergo static fire testing. Following this, both stages will be fully stacked and subjected to the wet dress rehearsal test, marking the culmination of major preparations for Flight 5. Given SpaceX's penchant for expeditious operations, I am optimistic that they can expedite these processes and wrap them up in less than a month. Indeed, all signs point towards the realization of Elon Musk's vision of landing the booster with the Mechazilla arm sooner than anticipated. Looking ahead, SpaceX has plans for Flight 6, where both stages will be landed using the chopstick arm. Assuming Flight 5 proceeds smoothly, Assuming Flight 5 proceeds smoothly, I am optimistic that Flight 6 could potentially take place this year. Achieving the goal of landing and reusing both stages within the year will lay a solid foundation for SpaceX to pursue other significant objectives in the coming year. These include establishing a refueling system, constructing the Starship, HLS, demonstrations, and preparing for Artemis 3. However, to achieve these ambitious goals, SpaceX must first navigate the challenges associated with Flight 5 successfully. First and foremost, SpaceX must prioritize further improvements in engine reliability. While the engines performed admirably in the last flight, contributing to the success of B-11, we cannot overlook the fact that issues arose when one of the 33 engines failed to operate after liftoff. Although this anomaly did not impede the flight, addressing such issues is imperative to optimize overall flight performance. SpaceX must meticulously inspect and fortify every aspect of the engine system, paying close attention to minute details like nozzles, electrical wiring, and other susceptible components that may have been compromised during the recent liftoff, potentially leading to engine failures. Undoubtedly, this task will pose significant challenges. Additionally, if the new hot staging hypothesis proves to be accurate, SpaceX must ensure that the redesigned system functions seamlessly without introducing new complications. Altering the design at this juncture entails inherent risks that could potentially disrupt the broader development trajectory of Starship. Regardless of the design specifics, Hot staging remains a critical component of the separation process, exerting a profound influence on the overall success of the flight. Thus, SpaceX must navigate these complexities with utmost care and precision. To safely return to Starbase and execute a successful landing, SpaceX must meticulously ensure the seamless integration and operation of all systems across the booster, launch tower, and OLM. Achieving this level of precision is paramount, especially considering the proximity of Starbase to a large fuel system. Furthermore, significant work lies ahead for SpaceX concerning ship. Primarily, they must continue enhancing the heat shield system to provide optimal protection for the vehicle, thereby preventing incidents like the recent issue with the flap. However, this endeavor presents considerable challenges as heat shield technology remains a persistent obstacle that SpaceX has yet to fully conquer. To achieve a successful two-stage landing, SpaceX requires a new launch system, namely Launchpad B or the second Launchpad. Currently, the construction of the system is progressing rapidly with most of the tower segments already delivered to Starbase. The remaining components are en route. En route. Once assembled, SpaceX will need to expedite the stacking process to ensure readiness for Flight 6. However, time constraints pose a significant challenge in this endeavor. Fortunately, SpaceX can draw upon their wealth of experience having previously constructed two launch systems for Starship. Elon Musk and his team are undoubtedly facing numerous challenges, yet I firmly believe that these obstacles will not deter them from achieving their objectives.
Before SpaceX's emergence, many concepts existed only as fanciful dreams in the minds of people. However, the talented engineers at SpaceX are gradually turning these visions into reality, demonstrating the remarkable potential of human ingenuity. Once again, SpaceX is gearing up for another groundbreaking feat, this time aiming to land the rocket using the Mechazilla arm. We are indeed fortunate to be alive during this era, witnessing these extraordinary moments unfold before our eyes. The anticipation is palpable as Flight 5 draws near. In less than one to two months, you and I may find ourselves standing here together, eagerly discussing the next chapter in SpaceX and Starship's journey, Mechazilla Arm, the new way to return. Well, folks, that's about it for today's episode. Thank you so much for tuning in, and as always, this has been Kevin from Great SpaceX. Until next time, keep looking up.